Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler and we're ready to travel. Well, this is gonna be an interesting video, an emotional video. Hopefully I won't get too teary-eyed. I won't have to edit every two seconds and uh, you guys will bear with me. Uh, I took a cruise back in January along with my ex-wife, which I will explain, on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Sea. And that was uh, before all the COVID and everything started back in, I guess, February, March, and April, where everybody's stuck on all these ships. So anyway, um, as the story goes, uh, January 17th, we left out of Miami. On the 18th, we were in Nassau, Bahamas. On the 20th, we were in, or not the 20th, the 19th, we were in Coco Cay, which is Royal Caribbean's uh, private island. Then on the 20th, we were back in Miami. So the reason you're seeing this video now is because of this. SD card which I thought was lost forever I mean I'd go through my bags every day for like weeks and I just finally gave up and just said forget it it's it's lost so where Donna comes in is uh, we were divorced for six years but uh, we would still go out here and there she lived in Florida I lived up in Virginia and we'd still go out like I said every once in a while uh, when I would travel down there but uh, we decided hey let's go on a cruise this year so we went on a cruise in January, and uh, that'd be the last time I'd ever see her. Because in uh, April, she passed away. And it was not of COVID, if uh, that's what you guys are thinking. So it wasn't of that. But uh, in May, I uh, flew back down to Florida and grabbed all her belongings and uh, just stuck them in my closet back up here. And just the other day, I decided, you know, let me just start going through it all. And lo and behold, in the corner, the SD card which uh, has been in her bag since January so uh, I started going through all the video and doing all the editing and so that's the video that you guys are gonna see hope you enjoy it uh, I don't think I mentioned it but uh, you probably won't see Donna on there too much you might catch her at the water park a couple times uh, she wasn't much into get in front of the video camera but uh, I guess that's that and on that note, this is dedicated to Donna, as you guys would figure, Traveler out. Looks like a perfect day at Coco Cay. Sunday morning, Mariner of the Sea, Royal Caribbean sister ship. We're in the Bahamas together. And now we're here at a perfect day in Coco Cay. They're almost at the dock, and we should be debarking in about an hour. All right. We are like one of the first ones off the entire ship. And I don't see anybody coming off Mariner of the Seas yet. Mariner and Navigator. On to the water park. I don't know if you can see that from the sun reflection, the perfect day at Coco Cay in North America's tallest water slide. Uh, look at the beautiful water. Come in, you got uh, lockers and showers. Get here early and make your claim. We're right by the water park here. We're going to the tippy top. Place here to drop your shoes. Devil's Tower slide rules. Oh, so you got a reservation. Ours is between 8.30 and 9 a.m. Daredevil's Peak, we're going to the top. And we're about halfway up. 
no line at all takes about oh, 10 minutes to walk to the top of course as you can see there is nobody in line so we're not waiting 60 minutes next stop 45 minutes but as you can see just one person in front of me uh, this is the 15 minute spot and as you can see nobody in line except four people in front of us it took like I said about 10 minutes to get to the top with no line probably faster for you quicker people gone well here's an here's the difference like I was saying earlier Norwegian you have to tender to their island we're on Royal Caribbean just get off the dock and walk to a perfect day we're at 130 feet in the air I didn't count how many stairs I'm gonna say I don't know 300 probably more if somebody wants to count them go ahead I might do that later on okay if he just a woo I, I think I'm gonna be screaming all right we're up next Scream! <laughs> that was it. Take a grip. And get ready to shoot the tube. We're just holding here. We're waiting. We're waiting. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> yeah. Woo. What a drop at the end there. Yeah. That was amazing. All right, one down. That was fast. Oh my God, you got a water rush right up my nose. All right, on to the next one. Manta Racer. Stair climbing again. As you can see, as you climb up the stairs, which lane to be in. You go ahead and do the yellow because you've got the camera. All right, Manta Racer, you can do the purple or the yellow, same one. Thank you. Cross your legs and arms, and here we go. Woohoo! Woo! Man, you got some speed around these turns. Woo! How'd you do over there? <laughs> Next up, Green Mamba. All right, here we go. Arms logs, legs crossed. Wow! Where's the lights? There's the lights. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. Woo! Picking up some speed here. Picking up speed, picking up speed. One more turn. Ooh, that was good. Screeching serpent. Oh. oh, this is just straight down drop. I'm not sure. This one is just a straight drop. Do you even stay on the slide? Oh, well, I guess we're going to find out. All right. All right, here we 
There goes nothing. That was pretty good. I thought you were just gonna go airborne, but oh, that was that was pretty good. Last one on this tower, dueling demons. Right, we're gonna drop slide. You got the yellow and the blue. And before I go down, I went all the way to the top, 240 steps. Now we're gonna get dropped. Oh, this water's cold on your back. Cross my legs, right? All right, here we go. The door is closing. Three, two, two one. Wow. Oh, man, what a drop. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was cool. That is one hell of a drop at the beginning. <laughs> Woo! Nice, perfect day at Coco Cay. Hey, we have completed all the slides off the tower. Now we're gonna head over here. Check out these slides. All right, the next row of water slides. Double tube. Got a big round tube and then the racers over there on the right hand side. So this section we got Splash Speedway, Twister, and Slingshot. Have our raft and you're climbing stairs again. Well, it's amazing you got two ships here. The park's not very crowded. This is 30 minutes. But as you can see, like on all the other videos, nobody in line. There they go, all four of them. They're gone. So before you get on the ride, they weigh everybody in your party. Here's the line. All right, Donnie, go in the front. Donna? I put my feet around her, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can put your feet. What's easier? Put your feet on Oh, this is going to be fun. Here, hold that. You got it. You got it. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Right, you guys, you guys, that ain't Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, now you guys in. All right, here we go. Good, See you later, bud. That's it. Oh. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Got a <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna bail out like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just flipped out. Right. That's the best way to get out. <laughs> oh, no. Good move? Ah. Woo! That was good. Speedway is next. Uh-huh. 
and then lean into the slide. Go right down. Yeah. Elbows in. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! I almost fell over. Wow! Woo! She made it. Next one, slingshot. We are we ourselves. Here we come out the tube. Now they bring your raft up on the conveyor. And we are gonna be next here. Ready? <laughs> See you later. They drop right here. adventure park for the kids a wave pool here fun day at the water park that was some great ride especially devil's tower but uh, one little note that I uh, found out I was going to get the water park uh, pass online, it was like $85, but I waited till the day of the cruise, and on the ship they had a special for $50, bucks. so uh, you might want to try that out. Very well mapped out. We're just going to take a walk around the island here. Chill Island. And just off to the right there is Captain Jack's Bar. Mariner of the Sea on the left and Navigator of the Sea on the right. Just on the right side of the bridge is Harbor Beach. A couple souvenir stands. This area is Chill Beach. Over here and get uh, your hats, your hair braided, some towels. Or you can just chill out, lay on your hammock, and do some texting. That's a good way to lay out beanbag chairs. A lot of places to lounge around the beach area. This is the straw market area. Well, at 11 o'clock, the complimentary food and beverage opens up. There's uh, Cuban sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs, chicken, corn, tacos, all different kinds of toppings, different juices, water, and beer. Then come out here and sit under the sun. That was a pretty good uh, snack uh, here at the Chill Grill. And then there's one other place for complimentary. That's the Snack Shack. If you want alcohol here at the complimentary places that you have to pay for, there's other dining areas and bars and chicken wings and like that, but that you have to pay for it. But this one is complimentary. Right across the inlet there, got Captain Jack's, and then Skipper's. 
Oasis Lagoon, the Caribbean's largest freshwater pool. Oh, they are partying here. This is the spot to go to. Swim up bar. Take a look at the other side. A little more calmer over here. Well, I guess this will be the back side of the island. They have uh, fresh water showers, ping pong, bean bags, cornhole, volleyball. You can lounge around. There's a, even a little miniature golf and outdoor bowling. Or just lounge around the chairs. For all you smokers, there's a designated smoking area right by the restrooms. We decide to hop on the tram. Make this a little easier. Hot air balloon ride. Well, if you come off the ship, you can also take this tram, or when you get to the backside, you can take the tram. You can take the hot air balloon, gives you a view of the island. 400 feet you go up. But if it's too windy out, you're not going, so actually you pay for that one when you get down there, because you don't want to pay for it early. And then they say, sorry, and I don't think they're refunding your money, but I'm not sure on that one. This is the way to go back to the ship on the tram. Now that was a perfect day at Coco Cay. Well, after a long day of running around the island there, it's hot tub time. Sounding of the horns. Mariner of the Sea is now departing. Mariner of the Sea heading back to Port Canaveral, Florida. A lot of people getting back on the ship. We're leaving in a few more hours, but we're watching the football game. Leaving Coco Cay. Had an awesome day at the water park. And a gorgeous sunset. And there's three ships heading back home. Well, that's going to do it for this three-day cruise. Uh, left out of Miami, went to Nassau, Bahamas. Did a lot of shopping down Main Street. And, of course, all the peddlers there asking you to go in their shops and buy, buy, buy. And then swam with the pigs. Unfortunately, uh, you couldn't take your cameras, videos, anything with that. So you could uh, document that. But it is what it is. Next day on the Coco Cay, a perfect day. Those water slides were awesome. Uh, hang around at the beach for a while. Had some good complimentary food. And then back on the ship and to Miami, and we'll be there in the morning. So on that note, from Navigator of the Sea, Traveler out. <laughs>